Hey there, my friends. Welcome back to our channel. And today, we've got something super exciting to share with you. We're diving into the latest update of Adobe Lightroom for October 2023. This update comes with some fantastic new features. But today, we're going to focus on the one that has us really stoked. First, please consider subscribing to my channel. By subscribing, you will get notified of my latest uploads and never miss any of the amazing content I create for you. It only takes a few seconds to click the subscribe button, and it will help me a lot to grow my channel and reach more viewers like you. Thank you for your support, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, let's jump right in and take a look at ColorPoint. So, ColorPoint is a brand new feature that allows you to take control of colors in your photos like never before. It's perfect for those of us who are a little obsessed with color grading. Whether you're a professional photographer or just a hobbyist, this tool is going to elevate your editing game. I am importing a new image to Lightroom Library. Type D or go to Top Option Bar and click on Develop. In the Develop module, you'll see the Color Point tool on the right-hand side. It looks like a dropper icon with a plus sign. Click on it, and you can choose a color from your photo by simply clicking on it. The cool part. Lightroom instantly identifies that color and presents a color wheel where you can make precise adjustments. You can tweak the hue, saturation, and luminance of that specific color without affecting the rest of the image. Check this out. We've taken this photo of a woman with car and decided to enhance the skin color of woman. With Color Point, it's as easy as selecting the skin color and dragging the luminance and saturation sliders. The before and after difference is remarkable. This tool allows you to create bold and striking effects effortlessly. Imagine turning a gloomy day into a vibrant one, or emphasizing a particular color in your subject for more visual impact. After selecting any specific color, Lightroom displays a color wheel that represents the selected color. Within this wheel, you'll see a central point, which represents the exact color you've chosen. This is where the color pointing range slider comes into play. It's often represented as a slider or a circular control that you can adjust. It allows you to control the range of colors affected by your adjustments. When you move this slider, it expands or narrows the range of colors around the selected color on the wheel. Expanding the range. Moving the slider towards the outer edge of the wheel broadens the range. This means that not only will the selected color be affected, but also colors similar to it within the expanded range. You can see as I expand the range the sock's color is also affecting, because it has same color tone match with skin that we don't want. So we need to narrowing the range. Conversely, moving the slider toward the center of the wheel narrows the range. In this case, only the exact color you selected is adjusted without affecting colors that are less similar. You can see as I narrowed range to left, so skin color was not modified that I did before. So I keep it 50. With the range set, you can then make adjustments to the hue saturation, and luminance of the selected color. These changes will apply to the range of colors defined by the slider. Using the Visualize Range feature in the Color Point tool in Adobe Lightroom is a powerful way to precisely target and adjust specific colors in your photos. Once you've selected the color, you'll see a range slider in the center of the color wheel. By default, it covers a certain range of colors around your selection. To make precise adjustments, click on the Visualize Range Only checkbox below the color wheel. After enabling Visualize Range, you will notice Photo now appears in grayscale, with the selected color appearing as white. The more similar a color is to your selection, the closer it is to white. Use the range slider to control the range of colors that will be affected by your edits. Sliding it left narrows the range. Only the exact selected color is affected, and sliding it right broadens the range to include similar colors. As you make adjustments, keep an eye on the preview of your photo. You'll see the selected color and its range being modified in real time. 
This allows you to achieve the desired effect while keeping other colors in your image intact. See before and after. But that's not all. Color Point also has a masking feature. You can further refine your color adjustments by using the brush tool Object Masking and Other Masking. This means you can selectively apply the changes to specific areas in your image. To apply the mask selectively to specific parts of your photo, click the Brush tool. You can find this tool on the right, hand side of the Develop module. Adjust the brush size by using mouse scroll button or using left or right bracket keys. Start painting over the areas in your photo where you want to apply the mask. But here, I want to use Object Mask, so I have deleted the brush mask and add Object, mask my selecting face with rectangular tool built-in Object Mask, and add another Object Mask of Arm by using inbuilt Brush Tool. You'll see the mask applied to the areas that match the color and range you, selected with the Color Point tool. With your mask in place, you can now make adjustments to the selected color range such as altering the hue, saturation, and luminance. These adjustments will only affect the areas covered by your mask. If you need to further refine the mask, you can use the Erase option in the Brush tool to remove the mask from specific areas. You can also adjust the mask using the Range slider. The possibilities are truly endless, and we can't wait to see how you'll use this in your own photography. So, that's Color Point in the new Lightroom update for October 2023. It's an absolute game. Changer for color enthusiasts and anyone looking to add that extra pop to their photos. We're super excited about the creative potential here. And we hope you are too. That's it for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our exciting photography and editing tutorials. And remember, keep creating, keep capturing moments, and keep exploring new features like ColorPoint in Lightroom. Until next time, happy editing! I hope you are enjoying my videos and finding them useful. If you want to support my channel and get access to some exclusive benefits, I invite you to join my channel membership program. By becoming a member, you will be able to watch my videos ad-free, get early access to new content, participate in live Quaya sessions, and receive a special badge next to your name in the comments. It's a great way to show your appreciation and interact with me and other members of this community. To join, just click on the Join button below this video or on my channel page. Thank you for your attention and I hope to see you soon as a member of my channel.